everyone. Um, if you have paint at home, I just thought I would show you one thing that you can do with it to um, help work on letters or just um, have a different way to paint. So all I did was I took these Q-tips and just cut them in half, um, or you can use the whole Q-tip, but this um, kind of forces that fine motor skill where you're pinching the paintbrush there. Um, and we are going to work on some letters. So when I'm done and the paint dries, this is um, kind of some alter an alternative to the letters to a T activity that was sent to you on Teaching Strategies Gold. Um, and it's just a way that you can use your eyes and your sense of touch, the tactile, to trace the letters with your finger. So like I did that with this word painting and I can run my finger over it and um, see also the letters and sing them out loud too. Um, so let's pretend that I am working on um, the letter E and I just look, I just used the back of my recycled waffle container um, box. So you can just write the letter that you're working on. So let's Let's say I'm working on E. Maybe that letter is in your name, but you're not always sure what it looks like. So I could do a capital E, and then next to it, I'll draw a lowercase e. And you'll notice that those two letters are the same, but they do look different. Capital letter has straight lines, and the lowercase has curvy lines. Or let's say I'm working on the letter S. That goes around, back, back up and the lowercase s look it looks the same but it's just smaller so this is a way that you can work on those letters so i'm gonna go ahead and paint my letter so i'm just gonna dip and dot so i'm gonna go down e like this dot 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 then I go across the bottom, across the top, across the middle. Okay, and I don't have to do one color. I could make a pattern, right? So maybe I'll use purple, dot, leave a space, dot, leave a space, dot. I'm going to make an A, B pattern, which is two colors that repeat. A pattern repeats. So I had purple, yellow, purple, yellow, purple, yellow. I can go around purple, yellow. Okay, and there I go. So I made two letters there. And then I could just do the same with my S. And then once I dry, once it dries, you can go back, tra track your finger over the letters and see how it feels. It feels kind of fun. All right, so since I have all of this extra paint, I might just go ahead and make some art. So we have been working on some lines and our colors, and we have all these colors here. I think I might make a rainbow. So I'm going to make some bumpy lines, kind of connect them like this and make a cloud on that side and make a cloud on this side. Bump, bump, bump. And then the rainbow has a big curvy line. So I'm just going to connect the two clouds just like that. Okay, so then I'm going to get my red, and then after it goes orange, and then yellow, and then green. Yep, and then what's next? Blue, and then purple is at the end. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to do my red and it's going to go dip and dot. So I'm keeping it on the line. We're going to track the line. Okay, dip and dot all the way across. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and I'll see you at the end.
Okay, my friends, so I'm just finishing this up. And um, I got these little paints from Michael's, just used a coupon. And um, I like to just put them in these little paint palettes or you can just use like an egg carton or something I got put in the recycling bin. Um, but, and then you just need a little bit, that's all. So that's another nice thing about this. But um, I always like sharing art. So um, this was reminding me of when I was little. I used to like to paint rainbows. So I might just send this to my mom. So I'm gonna write to mom. Maybe I'll put on some nice paper and make like a card, but I hope you enjoyed this. Send us your pictures if you make a rainbow or if you work on your letters with the Q-tips and have a great day. Thanks.